Zero FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Bofeng UV1701. These are an absolute bargain. Anyone that hasn't got one, I think is completely crazy. VHF, UHF, DMR, and it will run the OpenGD77 system. If you've not heard of that, what, look at my other videos. Virtually the same radio in operation as the UV380 and the RT3S. Only about £40 delivered. And this one's even come with a programming cable. Now they're a tenner. Bit nice big charging cradle. And then you've got the mains power, belt clip and instructions. And they're actually quite good instructions. And of course, antenna. So that's the box empty. The box was a bit battered. <laughs> um, but that's fine because um, it's just a box. So programming cable. Now label this because it's different. It's not a normal Bofang cable. It's got a different kind of, I don't know, chip, whatever, interface. And um, so your Bofang UV5 cable will not work with this. Yes, we're going to plug in our hotspot and get this working. And I have already got one of these, but I want one that's running the GD77 system. And I would like one that's running the OpenG the um, the normal Bofeng system. So you'll see straight away, I'll just turn it on quickly. It says Bofeng. It looks virtually the same as a, like I said, a UV or TYT380 radio, but it's taller, it's got a backlit keyboard that lights up green and let's get the antenna on there. Proper channel changer, proper volume control, big battery and we'll get the belt clip on there which is a nice, nice big one as well. The screws are just here. We'll, we'll put them on. We'll put the belt, the wrist strap on that you get as well. And yeah, yeah, your usual mains adapter. It goes into the very nice, solid looking stand. So you will not regret buying this item. You can see that my hotspot's on now. We could, I'm pretty sure we can just type in the frequency. And as long as we're in DMR mode, it should start to pick up some activity on my, on my hotspot. Let's get the antenna on on the belt clip. Okay, looking good already, and I will be programming this with software as well, but not in this video. There's our instruction manual. And it's okay, I've looked through it, and it's everything is in there that you need to know. DV Mega Hotspot, that is. So when you first get this radio, you'll probably find that it's in channel mode, and you, if you want to just type frequencies in and start using it straight away, you actually want it in VFO mode. But let me just show you, look. It does talk to you, channel mode. To get the screen on permanently, just go menu, down to utilities, radio settings, go down to backlight, menu, and look, select always. And I'm telling you now, it looks beautiful. It's a beautiful looking radio. Look at those backlit keyboards there, or key keyboard there. I'm very, very pleased as you can tell. So let's get it into VFO mode by holding down the red button. We're going to type in Hubnet, so we go four, three, four, five, five, zero, and it should come to life straight away. Get remember the last zero, and it looks like we might have to do the tone because we're oh no we're in digital mode. We need to come out of digital. Um, I tell you what though, if my if if my DMR becomes active, we wouldn't need to come out of digital. But to hear Hubnet, we're going to need to do that. If you want to go up and down A and B, call it A and B band, look. One. Up and down arrows do that. So we're going to go back into channel mode by holding the V. Or VF, I call it V, but anyway, the red button. Then go menu, go down to utilities, and enter radio settings. Go up until you see mode and press the green button and go back and go up to channel mode. Now when you're in memory mode, that's when that's probably the one you'll actually be using the most because that'll be all your code plug and you put in all your talk groups and all your favorite channels with your traditional, very complicated code plugs that DMR likes to use. But if you just got this and you wanna just play right now, then the way to do it is do what I just did, go back, go into channel mode. Let me just show you. Menu, utilities, radio, and go up and you have to be in there it mode there and they are go up to channel mode select so now in this mode 
it now says analog. So let's try and we're still in channel mode. Four, look, but it's three, four. We're gonna do. We're gonna hold this down and hopefully it'll get us into analog mode. We hope. We just need to go into VFO. Okay, I think I made a boo boo. I think you need to go into memory mode. So we'll go menu. Utilities, selections, look for mode, there it is, go to memory mode, Sixteen. so we're in the channels now, then hold down and keep your finger, there you go, so we go four, three, four, let's do my, actually let's, I know I'm winging it a bit here, four, three, one, Five five zero. So that's on the A band is my hotspot. Then we we'll go to the B band, pushing the down arrow. Now we'll hold down again the red. Now it's analog. That's better. Four three four five five zero zero zero. That's better. He, he's quiet in because it's not a quiet radio, it's a very loud radio. PTT, programmable button, and uh, another button up there, programmable, nice LED, um, programming cable. Let's see if I can get some DMR. And before I forget, let me show you my firmware version. We'll go menu, utilities, radio info version 2.06 and 1.05 which i'm pretty sure is the one i yeah, the only version that i can get so how loud that went when the other station came in that's paul on hubnet now if we go to the a band We're going to hear some digital now. Once Paul stops speaking, actually, speak, actually, if I go down one and change frequency, then let it go back up. We should hear, there it is there, talk group 91. Now, we haven't programmed it to transmit, but it will receive. You have to program in the colour code, the time slot, the talk group, all that kind of stuff. It has got manual dial. It's even got what they call promiscuous mode. Um, all you do is go into menu when it's on DMR that is utilities radio settings and you're looking for group core match so you've got let's turn it down private core matches for private but group core is the one you'll be interested in press that if you turn it off if you turn that off and this is DMR now if you turn off group call match, then it will just let all the talk groups come through that are coming from the hotspot. Yes, John, nice to hear you. I'm just parking here. Let's just go to here. Facebook, DV Mega, you'll find this hotspot. The island of Guernsey, the island of Guernsey, and uh, it's about uh, 5 to 3 in the afternoon. 5 to 3 in the afternoon. So you got their DMR number coming through. Yes, you need to put your DMR number in, register for DMR to use this radio on DMR, and the talk group number. But if you put in the CSV file, you're going to get a lot more information. And this, But this radio uh, does only hold 120,000 contacts that will display information. But if you add the OpenGD77 firmware, which, I'm going to, which I have on my other one of these, then you can have 300,000 contacts. So I, I just highly recommend this. If you just want to start out in ham radio and you want to try out digital and analog, get yourself a little foundation license, you know, it from the UK. Register your DMR number. You don't even need a hotspot. There's probably going to be a DMR repeater near you anyway. And try it out. And, you, and you're literally £40. Come on. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please remember to hit the subscribe button. I am going to make hundreds of videos on this and the GD77 one. And uh, fantastic fun. Bye for now.